Oh, wow, guys. From the time I was younger, my mom, she would always let me kind of sneak her coffee with her in the morning. And from a young age, I've just always loved everything about coffee. I love the smell of it. I love the taste of it. I love the warm cup in my hand. I love everything about coffee. And as I've gotten older, I still love my coffee. But I've always been on the lookout for a healthier kind of coffee. I've tried the ones that have mushroom powders in it and I think that those are great. But I came across this one and I decided to give it a shot. And so I wanted to just kind of taste test it here with you guys for the first time and see what it's like. It's called Life Boost Coffee. You can kind of see it right there. This one is the medium roast, it's whole bean. I um, ground it in my coffee grinder that I love. <laughs> it's just, it's grown shade in the shade. It's grown like in its really natural uh, place where coffee is kind of naturally grown on its own and it's not commercialized or anything like that. So it's supposed to be really pure, um, low acid as well, which in the past, coffee as I've gotten older has kind of, especially if it's really acidic, it causes my teeth to be a little bit more sensitive. And so anyways, uh, this one stood out to me and I wanted to give it a shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it today. Now, this is my control. This is just a normal kind of coffee that you can get at the store or whatever. This one's called Backroad Country. I actually just got it at an Amish store near me. This one was already ground, so I didn't grind this one, but that's what this one is, the control. And so I'm gonna go ahead and taste that. I already um, brewed this one earlier today. There's definitely some bitterness there. And um, yeah, I normally put like whipping cream in my coffee. And so I'm used to that. Um, but, so I kind of got that taste. I feel like I should drink some water in between. Let me get a glass of water. Okay, add some water. We drink water out of mason jars around here. Okay, so comment below if you also drink water out of mason jars. All right, so here we go. By the way, the smell of this is different than like normal coffee and I can't pinpoint why. It just smells slightly different. But... Hmm. 
Yeah, it's not as bitter for sure. It's, I would say smoother. It's like a smoother taste. And I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not an expert on tasting foods or anything like that, guys. So I don't know proper language. It's not as bitter. Let me try this one again. Oh, yeah. This one is definitely bitter compared to Life Boost. Um, so now I'll add the whipping cream like I normally drink coffee. And we'll see how that goes. A little bit there, a little bit there. How do you guys like to drink your coffee? Comment below. Do you like cream and sugar? Do you like heavy cream? Do you like half and half? Are you a bulletproof person? I like bulletproof coffee every now and again, especially with the grass-fed butter. I'm a big natural dairy fan. Obviously, that one wasn't the best choice of whipping cream, but... Okay. So, I'll do the regular. Now, I'm going to show you guys. This one is... The regular kind of coffee is a lot darker than than the life boost. Um, but it could just be the roast that I got. Let me show you. See, that's the regular kind of coffee. This one right here. And this one is the life boost. Here we go. Regular coffee. I like it better with my cream. Cream just makes it so much better for me. Okay. So there was that water. Cleanse my palate. Okay. Oh, wow, guys. I really like that. That is so much better than just kind of your standard cup of coffee. Um, I'm, I'm definitely a fan so far. Um... Yeah, and I'm just going to read the back here. It says, enjoy coffee guilt-free knowing you're drinking healthy, pure, delicious coffee. Life Boost Coffee meets the strictest standards for quality, including single origin, shade grown, low acid, sun-dried, high elevation grown, and fairly traded. Wow. It's from mountains of Central America. It says, after you try Life Boost, you'll never go back to regular coffee again. <laughs> it might be right. Oh, guys, this is really, really good. This is very good coffee. Yeah, I might be drinking this one from here on out. So I definitely am a fan. I can taste, I can taste the difference that it's lower acid, uh, smoother, not bitter. Uh, I, I would venture to say, even if you're a person who likes um, cream and sugar, um, you might be able to go without the sugar or without the cream. I, I can see myself drinking this without cream, although I like it a little bit better with it. But, um, yeah, that's really good. I know that there are some other healthy coffees out there, and I would love to try those someday, too. And so if you know of any healthy coffees that you think I should try and give a taste test of, comment them below. Let me know below, and I can uh, taste test those, <laughs> even though, guys, I'm not, I'm not a professional. I'm just your average woman who loves coffee. I'm a coffee drinker for sure. And I have to say that this one is fantastic. So um, I'll try and see if I can provide a link below. I don't know if I can for Life Boost for you guys to give it a try. I'll try and hook you up with some kind of discount if I can if I can work that out with them but um, I am I am not working with them as of yet like for me to try this I just decided to buy this and try it because it looked good and it looked healthy and I'm always on the lookout for like healthier options of everything so anyways it's fantastic I think you guys should give it a shot mm. yeah that's good coffee and in the past I had added eggshells um to like powdered eggshells or crushed eggshells to my coffee grounds before I brewed them to try and make it um better and less bitter and take out the acid which it does help but just having good quality coffee to start with and I'm not even brewing it the best way I know that french press is a better way to do it my french press maker um was broken by a family member a while ago, and I'm not going to name any names, but um, I need a new one for sure. And 
I know that that way's got to know cold brew is great way to drink coffee and brew coffee but man even just from a drip maker this is fantastic coffee i'm impressed so hit the subscribe button if you like this video and if you'd like to see more videos like this and um thank you guys just so much for watching love you i hope you guys have a blessed day bye